Okay, this video talks about how to make a trade at the Market Watch website. I'm just going to check to make sure I'm logged in. It's got my name up here, and I know that I'm logged into the Coronado stock market game. And now I'm ready to start making a trade. So I'm going to type in a company here. Let's see. I'm going to type in the shipping company, FedEx. And let's see. When I hit enter, usually it'll pop up if it's... Okay, there it is. FedEx Corp. So I can click on this guy here to give me some more information. But first, I just want to point out FDX. There's an abbreviation. We call that abbreviation a ticker symbol. So every company has its own ticker symbol. So for example, if I were going to look for Apple, there it is. Apple Incorporated, their ticker symbol is AAPL. How about Google? Google is owned by Alphabet. And let's see what... There it is, Alphabet Inc. And the ticker symbol is, this is actually the ticker symbol, G-O-O-G. But I like FedEx. I'm going to go with FedEx. And I'm going to click on these guys, or that ticker symbol. Now it gives me a little information here. It gives me what's the trading price for one share of this stock. That means one share of ownership in the stock. So when you're buying a stock, you're buying a piece of ownership in the company and it shows me this green number right here dot three five so that means it, it's green and the arrows facing up meaning it's improved today from yesterday's closing price by 35 cents and that was a 0.13 percent increase from yesterday's closing price now because I'm recording this video it's let's see 357 in the afternoon that means the stock market has closed out on the East Coast already. And so, and so, therefore, it's not going to be changing here in the evening. Once the market closes, the numbers don't, don't change. Uh, let's see, it closes at, I believe, 4.30 Eastern Time, which would be 2.30 Colorado Time. And it opens at 9.30 in the morning. Eastern Time, which means 7.30 Colorado Time. All right, let's go ahead and uh, click Trade. Okay, this screen shows a buy option and a sell short option. First, we'll talk about buying. You can drag as many shares as you want to purchase. You're given $10,000 in this game. And so how do you know how much 11 shares is? Well, if you scroll down, when you drag to the right, it updates the total right down here. So if I were to buy 11 shares, I'm buying $3,000 worth of stock. Now just a quick heads up, before you guys go start buying stock, you're going to want to trade at at least $1,000 a share, excuse me, $1,000 in total per um, transaction. Because you notice there's a commission here of $5 for each trade, and that puts us at a half a percentage point for each trade, which is good that way. Uh, the stock doesn't have to increase too much in order for you to cover your trading cost. Otherwise, if you only draw, if you, let's say you found a stock that's only selling for $30 and you just decided, well, I'm, I'm new at this, I'm just going to buy one share. And so for 30 bucks, you know, but the problem is if it's a $5 trade, then it's going to charge you $35 for that trade. So that stock price has to go up $5 just for you to break even. So even if you don't understand any of that, just make sure that you drag this up here, the number of shares, until this number is at least $1,000. That way you'll reduce your commission percentage. All right, uh, let's pretend that I'm going to buy, yeah, I'll just go ahead and buy five shares of this. So it's going to be 1300 and it's good till canceled. Right now, when I'm running this video, like I said earlier, it's, it's in the afternoon and the markets are closed. So that's why I definitely want this clicked because it'll keep the mark, uh, the order in so that tomorrow morning when the market opens, then it'll buy the stock for me. Now I can choose market price and that means whatever it opens at in the morning. So if some good news or bad news comes out during the night, it might change the price per share, per share in the morning. If good news comes out, well, then the share price will go up in the morning. If bad news comes out during, during the evening, during the closed hours, then the price will go down. Uh, most of the time it stays pretty close. Only when some, uh, 
some news, good or bad, comes out, then it could change pretty drastically. But I'm going to, if I, the other option is I could do a limit order when you're purchasing. Stop orders for selling, but I'm going to, okay, so let's talk about limit order. The limit order says, what if I decide, I think that this stock goes up and down in price, up and down. I've, I've been looking at the last few months of the, the charts and I see it just going up and down, up and down. And it goes from like 250 up to uh, 273. And so I say, ah, you know, today it's a little bit high. So I want to get it when it hits 250 because I think then it goes, it'll come back up. So I'll probably type in 250 and now it's not going to buy it until the price goes down to 250. So then I hit submit order. I'm just doing this as an example to show you what a limit order is. And down here it says pending orders, FDX limit at 250. Now because it didn't process the order yet, I'm not charged that $5 yet. So I can cancel this guy. I can cancel it at any time. And then I can go back and let's say I decide I want to buy it at the market price. I changed my mind. And there it is. And I decide, okay, I'll go ahead and trade it. I'll buy those five shares. But this time, instead of limit order, I'll just leave it at market price, whatever the price is in the morning. And I'll go ahead and submit the order. Same thing now, because the market's closed, it hasn't bought it yet, so it's still in pending orders. Now, I can go back and look at my history. What have I done in the history? Haven't done any traded trades yet because I'm still new in the game. Pending orders, that's good. And so that's how you buy or purchase a stock using the market watch account. The next video I talk about trend watching.